Um, standing here in the main uh, shoal of the uh, Lubavitch, which is called, it's uh, 770 Eastern Parkway. Is the Parechis, and it says, Zech and for the for the sake of the of the memory of the soul of Harabani uh, Sadzakis, the the the, the Rabbitson, the righteous one, Maras Chai Mushka Nishmas Eden, our teacher, the teacher Chai uh, Mushka. Chai is like from life, and Mushka is from a uh, like a smell, to be able to smell or smell a fragrance. Nishmas Eden, her soul is in Eden. Bas Kavas Kedushas of the name of Renu, the daughter of. Uh, the Holy One, uh, uh, the Honorable, the, the Holy, our Master, uh, Teacher, and Rabbi. Maranna, uh, Varavanna, it's Aramaic, our, our, um, our Teacher and our Rabbi. Yes, uh, Yitzchak, the abbreviation I don't know. Zechar uh, Tzadik, I don't know, some kind of abbreviation. Uh, then it says another abbreviation, and then Zechusik and Elena, I don't know the other one. Aishis. She was the wife of, what does it say? I don't know what that is, an abbreviation. Kavos Kedishas Adem Arim Shlita, of our uh, honorable, uh, holy, I guess, a master teacher and a rabbi. May he live for a long and good life. Niftara, she, she was, uh, she was, she passed away. Chav Be Shvaz, 22nd day of Shvaz. Hey Tafshin Samiches, the year of uh, 1988. And uh, on top they have uh, an inscription of Yechi. And uh, I just want to say there's a lot of um, misunderstanding about this whole uh, Indian Seas. On the wall, they have the makar for the whole thing. If you look at this one, actually, the small one is easy to understand. Well, the big one you could just say very briefly. That um, in the days of, uh, of David the Melech, basically, this is from Basinus, and this was about a few months after that his wife passed away. So whatever says Secha, but in the in regards to the uh, Tareb Rashab, the Zyrtsa is based in this. And so in the days of King David, who fought with the rabbis on many issues, that they would, uh, to show him support, they would say out, Yechia Melech. And uh, that, that was the people, the commoners, who supported him in, in, his, in his job. And that's how he knew that he was loved. And um, I said nowadays, I said the kind of Yechei Melech gives, uh, gives energy, gives life to the Nasi, to the leader's generation, and to the nation that gives life to the Nasi. It says, and uh, Rashi brings that, Ki Moshe Hem Yisrael, Yisrael Hen Moshe, Ki Nasi Yokel, that, that um, the, the leader's generation, the Moshe Rebbein's generation, is, is equivalent to the entire generation, and the generation is equivalent to Moshe, because Moshe is everything. The, the leader, the Nasi, the leader is everything. So when you give chais to the, to the, to the Nasi by saying Yechei Melech, and you really give him to the Am too, because in the Melchor Am, anyway, the head is, is just the, the head of the body, but the body itself is also gets life from. So when the head is healthy, and Yom Yom, so when the head is healthy, the whole organism is healthy. Um, so I said them later, if you, I don't know exactly the time frame, this is on the internet, though, I'll put a link to it. They, um, they, they thanked in the title that the Rebbe was known to be the seventh leader, and the Rebbe, when he said Basilagani in 1951, he basically um, pointed out that just like there were seven shepherds who drew down the Shechina from the Chet of uh, Priyat Das, and uh, he counts really, he says the seven shepherds, you can say Avram, Yitzhak, Yaakov, Moshe, uh, Ve'aran, David, and Shalom, but basically he, he makes the Cheshman that the seven is Moshe, and he draws it down to, to here, how do we know that we were forgiven? Because we got the Holy Tayra. So once we got the Holy Tayra, then we knew that we were forgiven. But Chet Egel came, and the Rebbe says the same thing happened. That again, the Shkinah was in Stalak all the way up. And uh, what happened was, the seven Nesim of Nesei Chabad came and were able to draw down the Shkinah from Rekia Aleph to Rekia Beis. And it, it's not the... It's a nice modern machine. It's not the... I mean, basically, until he says we're the seventh generation, and, uh, and that's what it is. So... They lengthen the title of instead of Hamelach, they call so the Rebbe's name is Marenu Rabbeinu, Adonai Marenu Rabbeinu, our master, our teacher, and our, and our rabbi. So, and they said, he's Melech HaMashiach. So that's how we got the comes with Yechia Melech. Um, it's one famous video that I've been encouraging the singing, and uh, never really discouraged it. And um, that's pretty much it. So I'll take for the new the minion, uh, you'll see how it goes. Basically, still to this day, somehow the minhag became, even though I was here in some base, and the base then actually spoke out against this, but it wasn't a Kabul, so they didn't say it again. But by Rosh Hashanah of that year, uh, sorry, some of Gimel, by Rosh Hashanah of that year, they're studying the Shvil before the Dominion, and now they still do. 
And even the Beis Din said some strong words about it's not a minhag and we were never doing it. Uh, it still continues and it's very hard to stop because you either get pushed or you, you abide. I think of it as minhag and gamakam, so I just uh, also make the show because I don't want to fight with anyone. Anyway, this is what they have in uh, this week is Shabbos Nevarchim. It's a very nice tool. You can see exactly when it's going to be the new moon. This is just for Brooklyn, obviously. The fourth hour, the 54th minute, and the 17th chalik within the minute. Shabbos Shevet Shvat is going to be on Rim Sheni, Havalenu. Tayyib is coming us for a good and auspicious, in a good and auspicious way. And that's pretty much it. This Luach will tell you when you can say Shema Antol. Very helpful. Clocks are very helpful. Well, now, anyway, you could see 15 minutes away from the daily Mincha Minyan. You see, once in a while, the Rebbe used to go to the L, I think on Mondays and Thursdays. So Mincha wasn't always at 3.15, but nowadays it is. It's a very powerful Minyan always. You feel really the whole energy of the whole uh, Judaism, I think. Uh, it says, one time someone came here and they said, this is how it is, it's not so fancy. So he told them, when you go to on a cruise ship, there's people who sit on the cabins, on the fancy cabins, and there's some people who sit uh, in, in less fancy cabins, and then there's a boiler room. So he said that 770 is like a kibiyacha, like a boiler room, where all the action and activity takes place and the coals are put into the fire, as it were. And from there emanates uh, the entirety of um, a lot of the Jewish world. Here they have a lua for yom yom. Every day they put the new yom yom printed out. It's very nice. And you'll see this one's even in English. Behind me they have in Hebrew. So you can read it in both languages. And um, if you never read the Kuntras of Beis Adarensha Bavel, I could just give you a very brief, brief synopsis, but nothing substitutes for actually reading the text. But basically, whatever said that in, uh, it says when the Shechina, when the Jews were exiled to Bavel, that the Shechina itself went with the Jews. So what does it mean the Shechina went with the Jews? It means they went to the Beis Medrash, the Beis Knesset, the, the study hall, the prayer hall of the Nasir, of the leader of the generation. So, um, the Rebbe says that in our generation, this is the previous Rebbe, he's the leader. And his shul is here, 770 Eastern Parkway. So there's an meaning that the Ikar Shechina, the main part of the Shechina, in some aspect, is, is here in the shul. And uh, I'm sure it was, I mean, I mean, I don't know for sure. But anyway, that's what it is. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm not going to actually uh, allow comments on this one. If you have anything to say, just, um, I guess I will allow, but I'm just telling you, I'm going to remove any, any Jews who are uh, going to call this uh, idol worship or anything like that. I will remove your comments and block you promptly because I think that... Uh, and it's been said by many about him, this is completely valid in Judaism. There's nothing that the Rebbe said that was ever against or contrary to Judaism in any way. And at this point, we're still uh, learning what the Rebbe said. We're still finding out more how it applies today. But um, just a fair warning. Okay, Zagazunt, uh, and uh, may God bless us all to uh, merit Mashiach.